Some have said he would be even more dangerous than President Trump because he's going to wage a war on women and reproductive rights. What would a Mike Pence presidency look like? The former governor of Indiana is a heartbeat away from being commander in chief. And according to those close to him, he has long harbored ambitions for the White House. Unlike Trump though, Pence has mainly kept quiet in the administration. So just how different would he be to the current president? I don't think his policy initiatives would differ that much, but in terms of his presentation, he he's going to be com- he would be completely different from Donald Trump because there there are no signs of wanting to grab the limelight. Huge difference in terms of temperament, huge difference in terms of public behavior. We're not going to see a president who uses his Twitter account to communicate. Mike Pence is going to use more traditional, perhaps more old-fashioned forms of communication. Mike Pence always thinks before he speaks. He's very restrained in what he says publicly. He wants to present himself as a model of humility. He's not going to be boorish or thuggish. He's going to um, act like a gentleman. We don't see any personal scandals in Mike Pence's life. An evangelical Christian, Pence's faith informs a lot of his political views, and one he would likely be particularly vocal on is abortion. Some have said he would be even more dangerous than President Trump because he's going to wage a war on women and reproductive rights. I don't think he shows a history of trying to impose his moral world order on government. But he certainly has chosen some select issues where his faith takes center stage. He opposes abortion. He has often said he wished Roe v. Wade could be overturned. When he was in Congress, uh, he's always opposed government funding of Planned Parenthood because the institution performs abortion. I feel like we would see him very vocal on life issues, but otherwise not imposing his will uh, on the government. While I'm certain he would support a Supreme Court ruling overturning Roe v. Wade, not with the notion of the federal government then suddenly banning abortion, so the United States could conceivably end up with what we had prior to Roe v. Wade, which is kind of a patchwork of different laws. Some states where it was fully legal, some where it was partly legal, and some where it was was prohibited. There are many areas where Pence is to the right of the Republican Party, in particular, his fiercely strong opposition to the size and power of the federal government. When he was in Congress, he was always fighting for uh, lower taxes and reducing the budget deficit and spending less government money, often uh, at his own peril within the Republican caucus. For example, in 2003, when the Republicans were in control and President Bush was wanting to add a prescription drug entitlement to Medicare, Pence fought it tooth and nail and led the the caucus members that were fighting it. Ultimately, they didn't win, but uh, Pence was, was willing to take on his own party for that principle of limited government. I think he gets more headlines for his social conservatism, but it's really his fiscal conservatism that has made him so popular in Indiana. So I think that that would be uh, uh, priority one, streamlining the federal government, continuing deregulation, shrinking government, returning power to the states. But perhaps where Pence would most differ from Trump is in how he would deal with the Democratic opposition. Despite his right-wing views, history shows he is not against bridging the divide in order to make a deal. He's quoted as saying in my book that if you're not willing to listen to the other side, then forget democracy. So I think he would view himself as more of a healer and and more of that olive branch kind of person. Similar to John McCain in the sense that when he was in Congress, Pence had good friends on both sides of the aisle and worked well with representatives from the Democratic Party. One example would be uh, the federal Medicaid program. While he didn't like some of the aspects of President Obama's program, he was able to work with the Obama administration and achieve a a waiver so Indiana could implement a program called HIP, Healthy Indiana Plan 2.0. And he negotiated personally with President Obama on the tarmac of of an Indiana airport to achieve that. So he, he is willing to compromise and And I imagine that that would continue under a a Pence presidency.